friends and welcome to my channel for a second time planning this week. This is the week of December 27th, 2021 through January 2nd, I think, 2022 of this year. I did double plan it in both planners. So if you want to see the 2021 spread, um, it's the video before this on my channel. But I didn't want to just do this spread again and tell you all the same plans I put in again because they're the exact same week, which I realize is very redundant to plan, okay? I understand, but I had to do it. I can't have a blank week in a planner. Also, this kit is from Glam Planner. It was a mystery kit. I don't remember what year I set it in my January kit lineup though, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And I, okay, so the Glam plan it came with foil overlays, like Glam Planner mystery kits do, and she used this sparkly hollow foil. And this sparkly hollow foil is in between, in my opinion, a normal hollow and a sparkly gold hollow. There's more gold in it than SPC hollow, so I, and, and Sticky Essentials Hollow, which is the bougie boxes I'm using, are from a Sticky Essentials um, tape. The normal hollow ones, the gold hollow ones I'm going to be using are from Rose Color Days because I did layer them. And I just felt like the Sticky Essentials ones were too cool toned hollow, so I decided to mix Sparkly Hollow and Sparkly Gold Hollow from SPC is what I'm trying to say. And I feel like I'm stumbling over my words. Also, I was watching Emma K. Plan's planner flip through, and she was saying how she had trouble doing this double box hack because it doesn't line up right. And it's because you have to cut off part of the double box. Um, she tried cutting it down the middle one time and said she had trouble. I just cut off the overlap. Like I line it up on my cutting board where the fold is and I just cut off part of the giant double box. Um, but anyways, I wanted to do something different. I keep getting off on a tangent. I can't stay focused. I almost feel like I should restart this, but I'm not going to, so I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to do something different besides just talk about the same plans that I do did already talk about on my channel because that's boring. So I asked you guys multiple times, some on Instagram, some on my previous video, um, if you guys had any questions for me. So I'm going to go ahead and answer those in no particular order. And I'm not going to say who asked them because I didn't ask permission to. But the first question is, what are your resolutions if you made any? Um, I made three resolutions. I want to get a job that I don't hate. That's number one. Number two, I want to get my pre-breakup body back. I am my own goal. I can do this. I have about 20 pounds to lose, and I really just want to fit into my old cl clothes again. Like, that is my goal. I want it so bad. Um, and I guess this kind of ties into my third goal, but... Um, to be happier, to improve my depression, because something that goes along with my depression is when I get in really depressed moods, I binge eat. Um, so that has caused me to gain weight. And so my goal is to lose weight and just overall be happier this year. When I look back at my 2021 planner, I just see a lot of pain. Um, so there was me showing you those two overlays layered and how pretty it looks and then it going out of focus for a little bit. Um, then I got asked Mary Shag Kill Fall Out Boy Edition. Okay, so there's four members in the band, so I don't really know how to do that with four members but i would definitely shag pete wentz like hands down shagging pete wentz i would marry patrick or andy and i would kill joe joe would be the one i would kill and then marry patrick or andy and shag pete wentz because he is forever my crush oh my god um 
am I going to do all scripts in 2022? That's the plan. Um, I'm, that's the plan. I hate my handwriting. I'm planning on doing all scripts, although I do think this year I'm going to eliminate monthlies. Um, my favorite and least favorite thing about planning. So my favorite thing about planning, I would say is probably the stress relief I get and like the therapy I get from actually planning. Usually, um, although my depression's been so bad recently, I haven't wanted to plan or film. And, or the other thing I like is having my planners to look back on because there has been occasions when we've needed to know when something happened and I had put it in my planner. So I'm able to go back and figure out when it happened. And my least favorite thing about planning, it would probably have to be the drama in the planner community. I just feel like it's just been very tense in the planner community recently compared to in years past. Um, worst kit of all time and favorite kit of all time. Um, I don't think there's any worst kits of all time. I would say there's bad fashion girls and that can really ruin a kit, especially, um, when they're drawn really anatomically incorrect. Like there was a Valentine's Day kit one time from Scribble Prince Co. where this girl was sitting like crisscross applesauce and her leg there was no way for it to physically attach to her body and that's like all i can stare at or when hands are messed up um yeah so i would say like there's no specific kit i can think of like that there was another kit there's been kits just where people are the faces are messed up or don't look right and that to me just throws the entire kit off um as for favorite kit of all time i kind of got asked this in a couple different ways i got asked my favorite kit of all time and then if and then i also got asked if you could come up with perfect custom art for a kit like what would you get what would the color scheme be and you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned for that and that's all I can say you will find out sooner rather than later um so make sure you're subscribed but yeah that's that um I'm really excited like I can't even wait like I can't even wait um, it's, it's in the mail right now on its way to me and I'm very excited. Um, then I also go, got asked, what are my goals for this channel? Right now, my goals for this channel is to hit 1000 subscribers. Um, that's my big goal for the year. Um, so if you're not subscribed already, please, please help me out. The other goal I had for this channel is to bring in more lifestyle videos. I just have to get confident filming them and I almost feel like I need to make notes and write bullet points about what I'm gonna say so that I, or what I want to say so I don't draw a complete blank while filming because I have a lot of really cool products I bought since moving for the house and just things I'd recommend, things I wouldn't recommend, that kind of stuff and I kind of want to share it with you guys as like a friend because I think I found some products that a lot of you would really like and probably don't know about. Um, okay, what made me wanna go vegetarian? So this is kind of a story. Um, I went vegetarian originally in fifth grade and I was vegetarian from like fifth grade all the way until like right after high school which I graduated in 2009 and fifth grade would have been 2001. Um, so like eight years and I decided to start eating meat again because I wanted to lose weight and protein was good for you and I got really into fitness and I would gag through meals because I hated it so much and I should also say one thing that was funny about being vegetarian in eighth grade on our eighth grade to see trip my school called my parents to tell them I had an eating disorder because they were trying to force feed me meatloaf and I wouldn't eat it but um anyways 
back to losing weight and getting into fitness. So I started eating meat and I would gag my way through meals. Like I went vegetarian as a kid because as a kid it was also for the animals and because I didn't like it. But as an adult, yes, I like the saving animals portion of it and all that, but I really don't eat it just because I don't like it. And this was proven to me I don't even know what day of the week it is right now. Yeah, uh, yesterday, Sunday, today's Monday the 10th. Yesterday, I ordered Taco Bell and they got my order wrong and they put meat in it. And you guys, I bit down into this quesarito and my teeth weren't even like, I wasn't even fully, like, I didn't even have my jaw like fully clamped together yet on the bite. And I was like, oh my God, there's meat in this. And it just was so repulsive to me. I just started gagging. So yeah, and also I know a lot about the meat industry because I had to write multiple papers on it. And once you know certain things, you can't unknow them. So um, the sidebar, I kind of took some inspiration here from Chandler from Shan Plans and put some half cuff half cut headers um, in the background so there's some sparkle there now too which is really fun um, okay so then I got asked are there any foil bundles that you saw and immediately needed to purchase and still haven't used because you haven't found the right kit um Yes, I have this Murdoch Talks like purple tie dye foil that I haven't paired with anything and I love it, but I haven't found the perfect kit that it goes with yet. And that would probably be my number one. Other than that, I can't think of anything off the top of my head and I'm not near my pl like planner filming stuff. Actually, probably before doing this spread, I would have said the Scribble Prince Co gold hollow and normal hollow would have been the one I would have picked but when I saw how normal hollow was against the hollow glam planner chose I just had to mix the two how many times can I say hollow um what is something you love about living in Tennessee so far Um, I love my house. <laughs> I love where I live. I love the area where I live. I love that my neighbors are really nice. Um, every neighbor I've met has just been so welcoming. I haven't hated the weather as much as I thought I would. Granted, we're having like the hottest winter on record. Um... Are there any shows that you tried to watch because of the hype slash personal recommendations but didn't enjoy or get? Yes. Um, Schitt's Creek and The Office and Parks and... Like, all those style shows, I try to like them, and I just can't. And it's not that I don't... I find... Because if I see clips online of, like, certain parts that people find funny, I find that funny. But the show overall... Also, sometimes, specifically with The Office, the filmography kind of gives me a little bit of motion sickness, uh, just the way they do things. So that's a no for me. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else really. I mean, I, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, although I'm sure there is because there's lots of, oh, movies. Movies, how could I forget this? I don't like Napoleon Dynamite and then anything with Will Ferrell. Anything with Will Ferrell, I don't like, except for Austin Powers. Anything else, I don't get his humor. I don't think he's funny. And dear Lord, or whoever you believe in, the higher power of the universe, I do not need to see his hairy chest again. I like don't know if that's in his writer when he films contracts for movies, but like, I've it's it's enough and I just don't think he's funny I don't get it I want to get it so bad but I've been forced to watch so many of his movies and I just don't freaking get it and I can't stand him his comedy I think he's it's not funny to me um 
Are there any sticker shops you've been eyeing that haven't purchased from yet? Yes, yeah, so now I have to find it. I'm not prepared. <laughs> I'm not prepared. I can't think of the name of it. It's super cute. I have it saved on my Instagram, so I'm going right now. I think Planner Pixica recently hauled their stuff. Um, Paper Bits Co. is one shop that I really want to purchase from. I just think her stuff is so cute, or their stuff. I'm not sure who the shop owner is, if I'm being completely candid. And then another one is Nightingale Paper Co. I purchased from them a long, long, very long time ago, but they have since changed their style, you know, if that makes sense. So those would be the two shops. Um, if you could add another fur friend to your family, do you think you'd get a dog and a cat, a dog or a cat, and would it be a boy or a girl? I would get a dog, and it would be a girl, and I would want to get a, like, medium size dog so like 50 to 75 pounds so a bigger dog more in the means of just like protection around the house I have always grown up having both you know every, my parents had okay so growing up we we had everything from basset hounds to a rottweiler to a rhodesian ridgeback to Maggie who was a mix she was a cocker schnauzer poodle she weighed about 15 pounds um and now I have Lucy and they have Tito so I always like having both a big and little dog so I would get a big dog and it would be a girl just because I don't want to introduce a I mean another male a male to the environment boys suck um any tips or advice for someone starting their fitness journey? Just start. Don't wait for the start of the month. Don't wait for the Monday. Don't wait for whatever other BS excuse you're doing in your head. Just start. Just do it. Um, to lose weight, you're going to need to eat in a calorie deficit. That is science. It's about numbers. A calorie is a unit of energy. So you need to look up your BMR and there's BMR calculators out there and your and figure out what your basal metabolic rate is as well as your totally daily energy expenditure which is how many calories you burn in a day. 3,500 calories is equal to one pound and you need to eat below that number. And you need your BMR to figure out your T D D E. So I know that's a lot, so you can message me on Instagram. Um, but everybody is different. Your height, your age, your weight, your gender, all that plays into it. Seriously. So um, it's not the same for any two people. And also the lifestyle you live. Do you sit at a desk all day? Um, are you a construction worker? Do you chase after kids a lot? Are you are you sedentary, active? Do you hike on the weekends? Do you average 10,000 steps in a day? Or are you more around the 2,000 range? All that plays into those numbers. So it's very personal to you and there's calculators online um, that you can Google. Again, it's a B as in boy, M, R, and T, D as in dog, E as in Edward, E as in Edward. Um, and move your body. It, you don't even have to work out to lose weight. It's all about eating in a calorie deficit. And also, if you hate running, don't run. If you'd rather lift weights, lift weights. Don't do something you hate because someone said you have to do it to lose weight. It's literally about numbers and not about what exercise you're doing. So if you would rather, one mile averages 100 calories, no matter if you sprint, jog, run, walk, they average 100 calories. So do whatever you want. Just burn the calories. Eat in a calorie deficit. Burn more than you eat. You will lose weight. Favorite Disney live action remake they've done so far? Mm, Beauty and the Beast or The Lion King? 
Are there any kits you've been hoarding for a long time? Do you have any intentions of using them? No, I have no intentions on using them if they are really old kit formats and I, they don't have enough boxes. Um, I did a, all of those like sticker kits I showed in a video that I did with Emma back in like August or July. And a lot of them are really old Glam Planner or Scribble Pro, scri the, 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 Scribble Prince Co. kits from back in the day. Like I'm thinking of a Kate Spade Scribble Prince Co. esque kit that she did that I'm still hoarding and I still love, but I will never use it. Um, I got asked what is my all time favorite spread I have ever done. Um. Probably just for aesthetic purposes, the Little Mermaid spread that I did from Glam Planner in my 2021 planner in the beginning of June, or also in June, my Disney World spread, because that spread just came out fantastic. Um, how are you liking Tennessee so far? Any regrets in moving? Uh, yeah, I have regrets in moving. I've been extremely homesick in the last week. That's kind of what's driven my depression and I just miss the food which doesn't go along with losing weight but I miss the food because the best burrito I can find here is Taco Bell and that's not a real burrito um <laughs> and I miss my friend Michael and I miss my like second parents and Disney but I do like it here overall. I just am not, I never do well with big change. Like my parents got a new TV when I was in like fourth grade and I cried because I didn't want the old TV to go away. So um, moving across the country is a big change. I know it's going to take me a lot of time to adjust. And then the next question is what made me decide to move to Nashville? California is going to hell in a handbasket. Um, gas is well over $5. I've even seen pictures of it above $7 some places, which is insane. And um, they now also, on top of the outrageous gas prices, tax you for every mile you drive your car within a year. And then they're trying to get something passed where if you move out of the state of California, you'll have to continue to pay California taxes for the next seven years. And I just think what they're doing to people is criminal in that matter. And I decided to leave. And my parents were moving to Tennessee. And my dad, you know, his brain's he has Alzheimer's and he's 70 and they're not young. So I wanted to live near them. Which Disney Pixar world would you want to live in? This is a really easy one for me. I think I would want to say onward. I think the world of onward is so cool. And the nerd on me nerd in me just wants to go to like the Shire, like the dining, the fast food place and order second breakfast. And I love the play on like the pixies being the bikers and like the unicorns being pandas and like trash rat. Like I just love that world. And while I like that movie, I wish we got to see more of the world because I thought it was super cool. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it and I don't see how they would ever make a second one, but there was just so many references to other franchises and other nerdy things in that movie that I just thought it was so fun to watch and every time I rewatch it I notice something else and I feel like Onward kind of got gypped because it was released in theaters like the week the pandemic hit or like the week before and I feel like it didn't get the love and attention it deserved and I love it so I would want to go to the world where Onward is set but that's all the questions I have, which is pretty good because we're at like the end of this video. I cannot believe that worked out so well. Thank you so much to anybody and everybody that asked me questions. I actually really appreciate it. If you're wondering what that blank is on Monday, I got some Carly Plan stickers um, for robot vacuums and that's gonna be for setting up my robot vacuum, which I've named Mo. And then the blank on Saturday is for a 
Glam Planner Lolly sticker that was in the mail. And I just, she's planking, and I put it there for my workout. Um, but they have since come in the mail, so that is now filled in. If you pay attention to my thumbnail, you might see it. Uh, <laughs> and I will also be posting this spread on my Instagram the morning that this goes live. So if you want to see up close pictures and see things in more detail, make sure to check out my Instagram because I'm going to be changing up how I do my feed over there. And it will hopefully be a lot more attainable for me because I've been really uninspired for about the last year with my Instagram feed, if I'm being honest. Also, I need to sneeze right now, and I'm really hoping that feeling goes away or I can at least hold off on sneezing until I'm done with this voiceover because I really don't want to pause it. But that's pretty much the end of this video, friends. I hope you all had a great Happy New Year's and it was safe. And let me know what your resolutions are this year. Let me know what Disney World you would want to be in. I'm really curious. What is your favorite thing about a new year? What's, what kit did you use for New Year's? Did you double plan this week? Answer all the things. I'm so curious. <laughs> and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And ring the bell. And do all the nonsense that YouTube makes you do now to help me reach my goal this year. Bye, friends. Thank you.